Hello everyone, a warm welcome to all viewers. Today we will learn about how to find out the basic runway length. This is part of airport engineering. I am Ashok Kumar, assistant professor, department of civil engineering, Walchand Institute Technology, Solapur. Learning outcome of the today's session. At the end of the session, students will be able to calculate the basic runway length. We know that the actual runway length is equal to basic runway length plus corrections. So, before we apply the corrections that is elevation correction, temperature correction and gradient correction, we need to find out what is the basic runway length, correct, uh, length. and then we apply the correction. So, adding together corrections of those the elevation, temperature and gradient, then basic runway length that comes the actual runway length. Now, today we will cover how to find out the basic runway length. These are on the, uh, the notations we are using in deriving the basic runway length. So, F L feed length, F S indicates full strength pavement distance, C L clear way like that we have so many notations we are going to use it while deriving this basic runway length. So, it is the length of runway under following uh, we are going to assume some certain conditions over here the airport altitude is at the sea level, it is at the MSL level and temperature at the airport is standard temperature is taken as 15 degree centigrade and runway length is leveled in the longitudinal direction and no wind is blowing on runway and second one aircraft is loaded to its full loading capacity for deriving the basic runway length and also there is no wind blowing en route to the destination. So, while landing Assuming that there is no wind is blowing to derive the basic runway length. Now, the basic runway length basically consider the three factors into the consideration and determine the basic runway length. The first case for normal landing case, how much is the runway length is required to have a safe normal landing case and for normal takeoff case, what is the, the uh, uh, runway length required for safe takeoff also and during any engine failure that condition also the runway length should be sufficient if the uh, engine failure is uh, 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 got in the mid of the runway you should able to get a sufficient length after the engine failure and to deaccelerate the vehicle and stop the uh, the aircraft within a specified distance or sometimes if the already engine is in air is already got a some uh, basic speed or say initial speed they should able to uh, turn back and come back to its normal uh, uh, on the runway with a safe distance. So, for a jet engine we are going to use all three cases uh, consider for deriving the basic runway length. For the piston engine uh, aircraft only first and second uh, cases are considered, but basically considering all these things and finally, which one is uh, having the longest runway length is taken as the basic runway length out of these three options. Now, for the normal landing case, the landing case though now the, the uh, aircraft is going to come for the uh, landing uh, at a certain distance of uh, taken as 15 meter height and uh, here it is going to touch the runway length and here it is going to stop. So, for having this the uh, process we need to have a certain length. So, in that case it is taken as 60 percent of the landing distance. So, it is uh, the uh, uh, the aircraft should come to a stop within the 60 percent of the landing distance. So, in that case the 60 percent of the landing distance is available for the normal landing case. Suppose here the SD is indicates the stopping distance that is uh, 60 percent of the landing distance. So, landing distance is given to you in that case you take 60 percent of that landing distance that will be available for the normal landing uh, uh, for the aircraft. And in that case, if you are SD is given to stopping distance is given to in that case, you are able to find out the what is the landing distance. So, all the way you can finally, uh, we are able to find out landing distance equal to that is 1 by 0 0.6 that comes to 1.667 times the stopping uh, distance. So, remember landing distance is equal to 1.667 SD or SD equal to 0 0.6 times the landing distance. So, either way if the both values are given or one value is given to you, you should able to find out what is SD or what is LD also in this case. Second one normal takeoff case. 
Now for the takeoff also we need a sufficient length of runway to have a safe takeoff in the air. So in this case the normal takeoff case requires a clear way which is an area beyond this. This is the clear way area beyond the runway and uh, it is in alignment with the center line of the runway and this is the imaginary area and within the boundary of the airport this clear way is uh, located. So within this, this is for the safe uh, uh, landing and takeoff this clear way is used. So it is not any uh, the uh, uh, runway is available over here but is, this is the, the area where this area is available for you to take off and uh, landing. Uh, approximately the width of this uh, clear way is uh, not less than 50, 150 meter and it is kept from any obstruction. Obstruction is uh, basically this vertical obstruction from the ground surface that should not be there within this clear way because that will obstruct the safe landing and take off. So you should keep that obstruction away from the clear way. And the clear way ground area or any object on it should not be protruded at a plane inclined. So within this uh, a slope of uh, taken as 1.25 percent gradient and within this uh, the slope and this clear way they should not be having any vertical object that is very very important that will obstruct the safe landing and uh, safe takeoff. If there is any vertical object it means we need to start our the takeoff behind the distance. So here we, we are going to come very shorter and go into the uh, air. But if there is any vertical object is there, we need to uh, displace or we need to shift the takeoff point from this point to somewhere in the earlier point. So that will reduce the length of the runway. So that is the reason we should not have any vertical objects in this clear way. Now stopways, uh, we have a stopways in the previous diagram you have seen there is a stopway and there is a clear way also. So what is the function of this stopway and clear way let me try to understand. The area ground where the aircraft can be safely brought to a stopway in emergency condition. So suppose if it is an in, in, uh, um, engine failure case, so uh, the pilot wants to uh, deaccelerate the vehicle and uh, stop the aircraft within a certain distance. So it may go beyond the uh, edge of the runway or beyond the threshold of the runway. That case after the threshold of the runway this stopway is available. This is only during emergency we can able to use the stopway and after the clear way. Uh, as I told you, clear ways uh, is a control of appropriate, uh, this is within the uh, authority, uh, airport authority and uh, selected or prepared a suitable area over which an aircraft make a portion of its initial climb to a specified height. So to get a specific height uh, for a safe takeoff and landing, we need this uh, the clear way which is not having any vertical obstructions. So this is from picture you can able to get and what is stop way and what is clear way. You can see that the, this is the end of the runway. Beyond that the stopway is still continued. It means there is a full strength payment uh, will be available for the runway but that the full strength uh, payment uh, layers are not there uh, in the stopway. But this is not the full strength runway or uh, the layers are not continued but this is a stronger payment and uh, this stopway is used only during a emergency condition. Suppose let us take that if the engine failure has happened and the pilot want to continue the uh, deacceleration and this way you can use this stopway to turn the aircraft and come back to its runway. That is the during emergency we use the stopway and clear way as I told you to have a uh, vertical uh, the safe landing and safe takeoff. This clear way, this is the imaginary area we, we, not, we don't have any uh, marking on the clear way but this will indicate that there is no any vertical obstructions are there in the clear way within the airport authority. So that will ensure the safe landing and safe takeoff. So width of this one is not less than 150 meter. This, this width is not less than 150 meter. So normal takeoff case, uh, now let us go for uh, the uh, deriving the basic runway length for the normal takeoff case. So here we are going to see that the uh, TOD that is called as a, a takeoff distance must be equal to 115 percent of the actual distance the aircraft uses to reach a height of 10.5 meters. So it means, so where the aircraft is going for a takeoff and it reaches the height of 10.5 meter. So from that point uh, it is uh, measured, uh, it is a distance to reach from the height of 10.5 meter. If you uh, see that, so from this distance, so this is your the, uh, the uh, distance from here. Uh, from from here to here it is taken as a distance of 10.5 meter and 115 percent of that uh, distance to reach 10.5 meter it is nothing but the takeoff distance. So this is our takeoff distance but before that we must know what is that distance to reach of 10.5 meter. 
if you know that value then you can able to calculate a tod now other way uh, all other values uh, there is a lod is given to you and 115% uh, of lod is given that is lift off distance will be given to you and uh, the clear way clear way is uh, uh, more than the half this uh, distance so that uh, the we are able to calculate the the clear way more than the half the distance now uh, in detail how to calculate the parameters so that is uh, field length that is field length is uh, completely includes of your uh, full strength runway this is your full strength runway from here to here plus the clear way that is uh, total it becomes the uh, field length that is fl and a tod that is takeoff distance is equal to 115% of the d10.5 okay so this is your d10.5 distance sorry this is the d10.5 so tod is equal to uh, uh, 115% or 1.15 times the d10.5 and uh, clear way uh, how to cal calculate the clear way if the tod is known to you and lod is known to you, lift off distance is known to you and uh, tod is known to you, you can calculate uh, this clear way that is half the distance over here that is a 0.5 times the uh, uh, tod that is a tod minus 115 percent of the lod that gives the the value of clear way how much is the clear way is available to you and takeoff run takeoff run is equal to uh, tod that is a tod minus clear way that is uh, that is full strength runway is nothing but the takeoff run so from here to here it is called as uh, your uh, fs this is your uh, fs r is equal to your takeoff run both are same so that is uh, uh, your uh, fs r tor is also same that is takeoff run so the runway should be uh, look like this so full strength runway is like this and uh, clear way is uh, as i told you minimum uh, the distance minimum width of the clear way should not be less than 150 meter now we'll take a pause over here uh, to find the answer for this as we discussed so what is this uh, p percent for landing distance safe landing distance if the uh, consider as the aircraft is uh, coming to a stop with a p percent of the landing distance that is normal landing distance so what is this percentage uh, just now we have learned i hope you are able to give the answer for this and second one if the distance of d10.5 is given to you what is the tod uh, in this case just now in the previous slide we have discussed i hope you are able to give the answer for this one the first uh, answer for this is uh, this is the 60 percent distance 60 percent uh, distance uh, it is already considered 60 percent of the landing distance and uh, here if it is uh, uh, D10.5 is known to you, you can take 115% uh, of the D10.5 that gives uh, 2760 meter is the your uh, uh, <coughs> uh, takeoff distance. Uh, engine failure case, how to find out the uh, basic runway length uh, for the engine failure case. So, with example, we will see in the next uh, presentation. These are the uh, references I have used for preparing the presentation. Thank you.